Hey, everybody. And thank you so much, Laura, uh, for the, the not only the introduction, but for the incredible fighting spirit that you've shown. And uh, you're representative of so many people that as I've traveled around the country, I've had a chance to meet and interact with and get to know uh, who you know, know what it's like to uh, be vulnerable in our healthcare system and now uh, are fighting on behalf of others to make sure that they're not uh, in the same position. And uh, to Leslie and Brad and everybody at Protect Our Care, uh, I just want to say how grateful I am for uh, you guys fighting the good fight for so many years now tirelessly. Uh, I was joking before we went live that uh, uh, I'm a lot grayer than when we started off this whole process. And, uh, uh, you know, Leslie and Brad are a little bit grayer uh, than when we started this whole process. Um, but look, part of the reason I think it's, it's a great time for us to celebrate uh, is because not only is this the 11th anniversary, of the ACA, but also because of the American Rescue Plan. Uh, here's a bill that Democrats, uh, led by President Biden and Kamala Harris, but also Nancy Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer, uh, were able to uh, introduce as part of the broader pandemic rescue package that is going to provide an additional 1.3 million people uh, access to coverage and you know that's a hundred uh, that, that, that's 1.3 million folks who could heaven forbid find themselves in the same position that laura found herself in when she walked in to that doctor's office um that, that's the, the the dallas metropolitan area uh all those people now have the possibility of getting coverage that didn't have it before uh it, you know, the American Rescue Plan is making sure that uh, premiums are going to be even lower under the Affordable Care Act. Uh, it is making sure that folks who've lost their job during the pandemic uh, are able to keep their coverage. Uh, and that's a lot of folks uh, who've obviously been affected. Uh, and it's going to make sure that there are additional incentives to uh, more states expanding Medicaid which they should have been doing in the first place and should have done a long time ago, but uh, have been stubborn about because certain Republican governors have decided politics and ideology are more important uh, than the well-being of their citizens. Uh, 